welcome to Vesna Vestments, number one place where you get your custom made vestments, cassocks, altar boy robes, altar covers and clergy hats. I will share with you my experience of washing a bishop vestment, what works and what doesn't work. To make a vestment we need a variety of materials and they are such as this. To build a vestment we need a fabrics, lining, interfacing, fringes, galloons, a ribbon, crosses, crosses, buttons and cord. Each of these material will react differently in touch with water or dry clean chemicals. So this vestment is 30 years old. First I clean the stains, all the stains on the vestment. You can see my videos how to remove wax, vine and oil stains. So I put this vestment inside a bed sheet and I put it in a washing machine light cycle with a soft detergent. So it was washed then I put it on a hanger to dry, it was air dry. Then this vestment I took it to a dry cleaner for pressing only. So the result of washing this vestment are actually pretty good. As you can see uh, everything is just looks just fine. Um, the fabric, the lining, the galones, everything is just as it was. It's pretty in a good shape. The only thing is changed. The crosses, they don't look like as they did before. So this is how it looks like after uh, washing it and pressing it. You can see the original. This is the original cross um, on the vestment. This one was not washed. It was not dry clean. Um, but you can see here how is washing changed the cross and uh, change the shape a little bit, it damaged the thread a little bit so the crosses are definitely changed but everything else it looks pretty much the same as it was before the lining, the interfacing, the fringes, the galone, everything is as it was before so use your own discretion how you're gonna proceed with cleaning the vestment and when you're gonna do it for more information, please visit vesnavestments.com and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me directly. Thank you.